What is going on lads and welcome back to another trading video here on my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to win most of your trading deals uh, and the best way to maximise your chances on winning them. Uh, and this is going to be through bidding and the ways that you bid on players. I have done this before but it's been like months since I've done this. So we're just going to be using players as examples guys. Don't use these players. These are just examples. Uh, you On all the other methods that you guys use, make sure you use these techniques to win the players. Because um, I'm just using this as an example. These players don't go for this price. This is off price. But basically the first one. So guys, there's a few different ways you can do this. So what you can do is wait till one second. So what that does, people, they'll think, they'll wait till the last five seconds. They'll think, well, I've not been outbid. I'm just going to go leave the player. Um, I'll check after. And then you end up winning him because they think, well, I've won the player. You bid, you bid on one second and then... Um, obviously you don't win it as well if you if you bid on one second they outbid you just do it again because eventually they're going to get impatient and they're just going to leave the player um, and when they can't be bothered bidding anymore um, then obviously they're going to go and obviously bid on another player or just go and buy him on the buy now so with trading if you're the more patient player you're always going to come out on top with this uh, method so you can see oxley chamberlain here another method what you can do guys He's bid three times in a row. So what this does, it makes it look like there's more people bidding on the player at once. We do get outbid um, because I don't actually know how much uh, Chamberlain goes for. But if you bid like three times in a row, um, what that does, it makes people think that there's like more people uh, bidding on it. So they'll end up leaving the player. Um, and what you can do as well is just change it up every time. So bid three times and then what you could do is wait till one second and bid. Um, and then if they outbid you, wait till 15 seconds and bid. Or then when they outbid you again, just bid straight away. Keep changing it up because it will annoy the person and then eventually you can end up winning the deal. It doesn't always work guys but like 90% of the time this is going to be make the chance higher than it was previously on winning the player. And another way with Mark Wienos you can see here is wait till 30 seconds. Because what that does is if you bid on the 30 second mark it doesn't reset the player. If you bid on 20 seconds it will go back up to 30 and then you'll be waiting even more time. And that gives more time for the player to or the person to bid on that player that they want. So obviously just wait till uh, wait till... 30 seconds bid straight away and then it will carry on going down um, and then what you can do is just keep changing up the times that you bid for etc there I just bid like straight away uh, and bid three times um, as what you see me do there and that's basically how this one works guys it's very simple um, and trust me try it out and I'm sure you'll see some good results it'll definitely help you when you play it a lot easier um, and you can see that I just bid straight away so I was changing it up and seeing how it works uh, definitely a really good way of me of well kind of maximizing your chances of winning your deals uh, but that is basically it for this method guys if you did enjoy it uh, a like would be greatly appreciated please do subscribe if you're new for daily fifa content can't wait for team of the season uh, also guys hope you do enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in my next video if I found